Welcome, my Dolly friends. My name is Gina, and I am here. You are watching Little Midwest Reborns and Dolls, and today I actually have a box opening. It's right here. Um, I apologize that my tripod is actually still broken, so I'm sort of jerry-rigging things up so that I can video. Um, probably what I'm going to do for this box opening is I will, I want to talk a little bit about what's going on in my life and then I'll go ahead and get this box opened and then just show you the doll. I do want you to know that this dolly is, um, not a reborn. She is a doll that I had when I was a child. I consider her a vintage doll. Um, she was out in the 1970s. I was born in the 60s. Um, so yeah, and this is one of the dolls that I gave away when I was moving and I regret not still having her. So she is now being welcomed back into my vintage doll collection. I am more of a doll collector, although my most favorite favorite babies in my home are my actual authentic reborns. I do enjoy quite a few types of other dolls and vintage dolls are one of the type or my childhood dolls. Um, so I hope you don't mind. I'm kind of dressed up because I just returned from a funeral Long story short, my, I'll just, my uh, ex-husband um, had six older brothers and his third oldest brother, wife just died. So when I was in the family and I was there for 19 years, um, including the four years we dated because we were married for 14 and a half years. Um, so I knew, I, I knew I knew this person very well, and I did go to the funeral today. I would have gone to the wake last night, but my daughter and husband needed a babysitter for my grandson, and my um, my son-in-law's parents watched him today. And you know, it's a little much to ask somebody to watch him. Yes, last night, and then today, the same, the next day. So. Um, I took a turn and I happily watched him last night, but I am saddened by the death of my ex late sister-in-law, I guess we would say now. Um, cause she was my sister-in-law by marriage. She wasn't really, but I just, it was sad. She's only 72. She... Um, died from Parkinson's disease. She had, she was diagnosed just two years ago and the first year, you know, she declined, but she was still herself. The second year was not good. Um, and she leaves behind her spouse of 49 years and her two grown daughters and a grandson. So yeah, it's, and she was a wonderful person. She was a prayer warrior. She would pray for people all the time. She was kind, she was generous, she was funny. Um, she had a lot of wit. Um, yeah, I just, you know, I can remember like when I was pregnant with my daughter, Stephanie. Now she had had her two girls and she said, you know, everybody gives you all these books about pregnancy and delivery and having the baby, which she did give me one of those. And she said, if I ever wanted to talk, to please call her. She'd be, she'd be more than happy to ease any of my fears or whatever. And then she also said, now here's another book. Now this is a book about what to do once the baby is out of your body. Because <laughs> she said they give you all this advice and all these things about birth and delivery and having the baby, but nobody 
prepares you for what to do after the baby is born. So she did that. She also was so sweet to me. She bought me this beautiful sweatsuit and it had this really pretty, incredibly soft, uh, kind of light pink and white, like sweatshirt and then sweat shirt material pink pants that were elastic waist that you could slide up and down and it would, and she said, honey, you're gonna need this for after delivery. And trust me, for the first two or three weeks, these are all you're gonna wanna wear. So she said, you might wanna pick up a couple more outfits like this. So she was just really sweet. And then when I was pregnant with my son and I needed another crib, because my daughter was still in our original crib, she let us borrow hers. And, you know, she gave me everything that went with it. The bumper pads, back then we still used bumper pads. Um, the sheets, uh, brand new mattress and not a cheap one, a good one. And I was prepared to purchase my own crib mattress no, she said it all should come together. Um, yeah, it was just really kind, really sweet, really generous. Um, and I will never forget that. Never. She also at one point after my husband had lost a job due to the company uh, closing that he worked for, going out of business. He was laid off for a while, then he got a new job and it had been quite stressful for us. And she said, you know, you two and the kids, you could probably use a vacation. And we said, well, yeah, but you know, we, we, we can't do that right now. And she said, well, you know, we own a home in Florida. You could go there and stay in our house and Yes, if you wanted, you know, you'd have to provide your own food and that, but, and any activities you wanted to do, but all you'd have to do is pay for your gas down there and your gas home and basically your food. And she said, you'd be buying that for yourselves anyway, wouldn't you? And we said, well, yeah. So anyway, we went and stayed in their gorgeous, gorgeous home in Florida with a private beach. You know, and she and my brother-in-law were fine with it. We went down there and stayed. Of course, we left it in better shape than when we got down there. Um, and it was cleaned and, you know, it really looked nice when we left. But, yeah, we had a, we, we wound up having a Florida vacation that we never could have afforded but for their generosity. So it's just saddened and I have some, my own regrets in life and things where um, events like this just really make me sad. So anyway, but enough about that. Let's get this box opened and see which baby I have. Now guys, you're not gonna be able to see this. So what I'm going to do is get the box opened and then show you the doll, okay? After I've got it all open because I can't figure out how to set the camera up. It just falls flat over. So just give me a minute and I'll be back. Thanks. Hi guys, I'm back. I don't know if you can read the box or not, but this is Timey Tell by Mattel. And there's the doll, and I am going to get her out of the actual box. Um, and I am thrilled. Oh, she's packed nice. The people who packed her did a great job. It's not just, oh my gosh, and she's in great shape. Wow. I mean, there's a little bit of dust in her eyes. Um, she does not work. I can poke the screen, but she does not work. 
But, I mean, she's got her shoes and her socks. She's got her barrettes in her hair, which her hair, I will need to probably do like a downy dunk on it. She's got her little watch that you would change the time. She's in her original dress, original underwear. Um, I mean, she needs a tiny bit of cleaning up. There's a little mark on her chin that I'm sure I can get off. And not only this, guys, I don't even remember what I had named her when I was a kid, but I mean, she, this doll is in fantastic shape other than the fact that she's mute. Um, but I am thrilled. I am thrilled. She's gorgeous. Like I said, her hair needs to be probably, well, what do we call it? Downy dumped or whatever, but, and smoothed out. Oh, and she came with her original little accessories. So we have, you know, we have the teapot with the lid. Um, oh, I don't know what that one's for, but we have, we have, I don't know where the lid is, but we have everything in here. I have her, I have her hairbrush. Look at this. I got the original hairbrush that she came with. But yes, and there's there's all kinds of things in here. And there's there's a little, there's teacups and tiny spoons. Look at this. Look at this. Little teacup. Uh, here is the teapot. No, that's not the lid to the teapot. That's, but we have, we can, I mean, she's got plates and a broom and spoons and, uh, like I said, so, like, if it's time to sweep up or time to brush our teeth, it, I mean, we have, we have the toothpaste. Um, this is awesome. We have little spoons to eat with and forks so she can stir her tea, put her, pour her little tea. And then we can stir it up and then she can have a drink. It's time for tea. Oh, this is wonderful. So it came with the accessories, her original accessories. It she is just gorgeous i don't know why but for some reason i guess because it's timey timey tell i just want to name her tina do you think that's a good or do you think i should name her something else um i don't know but i am thrilled 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 to have this baby girl back in my possession and yeah there's a little dark mark on her chin but that's fine so anyway that's it guys meet tina she is the newest vintage doll in my vintage collection and i will show her to you again once i get her all cleaned up and um yeah, and I wonder if there's, I don't know if there's anyone that can restore her, uh, whoop, restore her um, voice recording. That would be neat, but I don't know. That's something I'll have to look into at a much later date. But thank you so much for tuning in, for listening to me babble, and for meeting Tina. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful blessed day. Oh, and did you know there is a dog that chased a stick all the way across the country? Well, I think it's a little far-fetched. <laughs> Have a wonderful blessed day. Remember that no matter what you're going through, God loves you. 
and he's always there for you. Bye, Dolly friends. Take care.